Hi, this is Politics with Laura, and I got a good one for you today. I came across this article. It's the African Journal in Algeria, and um, I have to say I am beyond surprised. Again, another rush to chop up the African continent again. Now you have China over in Kenya, South Africa, and I think Zambia, uh, Zimbabwe, don't quote me on Zimbabwe, but there's a lot of presence. Now, the interesting part is this, in Mali, um, Germany. Germany has taken over Mali. The French is out. German is in. Here's the interesting part. German soldiers in Mali spotted several dozen suspected Russian security forces in the city of Gao. I thought that was a, um, a, country, uh, a city in Vietnam, but it's not. Just as the last French soldier left the country, the German government said Wednesday, the German ambassador in mm, uh, Bamako has contacted Mali's foreign minister about the suspected presence, presence of Russian uniformed forces in Gao, said the uh, foreign minister spokesman. Gao is home to a con contingent German and that's where it stops I, I I'm, I'm I'm beyond surprised I mean I really am um <laughs> who knew this was going on besides them <laughs> this is something to most definitely keep an eye on so now Africa is no longer French now it is a German colony being recolonized now <clears throat> let me go ahead and be very politically incorrect okay I'm, I'm, I'm just okay I'm just gonna let loose look look Africa individual countries leaders do me a favor stop letting other countries come in and take over and do what you should be doing. You are the president of of what of Algeria. Why do you have another sovereign country coming into your sovereign country and run it? I don't get it nor understand it. Always another power coming in and doing what you should what, what you should be doing now if I'm out of line so what this right here is I'm not going to complain I'm going to offer you a solution when you when you when you let people, your people, go to other countries and get an education. Have them come back. Have them build infrastructure. Have them do that for your country. Because every time when you let your people go and get an education, they don't come back. And then you lose out on people that could build infrastructure. And also, another thing, you got to stop stealing the money. Whenever you steal the money, that right there does not get trickled down to the people. If you weren't stealing, then your best and brightest would not be leaving. Just a thought. But have the people who leave come back, build the infrastructure, and then you would not need Germany to come in and do anything. You would not need um, England to come in and do anything for you. You would not need other countries doing things what you should be doing for yourself just a thought my solution 
And it just drives me crazy how time, okay, let me not drive me crazy, but it gives me concern that time and time again, the continent of Africa is always being redivided. And the people who suffer are the people that are there. And another thing, African leaders, it is beyond me how you take the money of your people and then you send your children to all these fancy European schools. What about building a fancy African university? India did. India invested in its people and India, the Institute of India, um, the Institute of India of Technology is kicking butt. I mean, they are kicking butt and taking names or taking names and kicking butt, however the way you want to put it. But they're beating out Harvard, Cambridge, Princeton, MIT. They are taking names and kicking butt. That's what they're doing. And in, in the African continent, you're not doing that. You're letting everyone go and they don't come back and don't build infrastructure. And look also to the people, stop stealing. Just stop. Okay, then, then let me get off my soapbox. On that note, I was very politically incorrect, but it doesn't mean what I said was incorrect. It was correct. And yeah, I mean, everything what I said was true. You might not like it, but if you don't like it, then you might want to look at it and reevaluate it. Just a thought. But on that note, me being politically incorrect, I think, and you're politically incorrect because you're watching me. Please like, subscri subscribe. I'm trying to get to 500 subscribers. Help a sister out. On that note, thank you for stopping by.